The vast majority of global teff production takes place in Ethiopia, and the cultivation, trading, and processing of the grain provides a livelihood for an estimated 25 to 30 million people. Smallholder farmers prefer to cultivate this ancient grain over other cereals since it can better cope with climate stresses such as drought. Farmers keep around 60% of crop yields for their own use, making it an important food security crop. It is also a cash crop, with both the grain and the straw fetching higher prices than other cereals. Farmers enjoy a large share of the final TEF price, receiving up to 80% of the grain sale price. However, farming TEF is certainly not an easy labor. Oxens plow the rain-fed fields, along with farmers with their sickles and forks. Donkeys are the most common mode of transporting TEF to trader towns. Yields are low as compared to other cereals worldwide. Yield limiting factors are prolonged drought, TEF's small seed size, as well as the lack of varieties resistant to easily falling over in windy or rainy conditions. Even though TEF performs better during droughts than other crops, low rainfall is still the most important event affecting the production of TEF. Eteha Zurich researchers surveying farmers experienced firsthand the plight of those living through the severe drought from 2015 to 2017, when yields plummeted. Introduction of sustainable yield-enhancing technologies, including new varieties of drought-resistant TEF, are crucial for these farmers, so that they can maintain their livelihoods and provide food for their households. Listen to the other stories to learn more about this nutritious ancient grain. <laughs>